What's up? So here's the deal. So we're getting chest in. So probably like four sets just to keep the muscles working. You got to remember, you got to keep all the muscles working. If you don't use them, you lose them. So got the towel. This is a thick towel, so I only wrap it just around. I don't tuck it in because I can't. But we're going to get in about four sets of 15. Lightweight. Just going to get back into it. Slowly building back up. Alright, so behind me I get the rower machine kind of set up, it's my makeshift, so it's a chest press and it has the leg press attached to it, but I put a pad there so it doesn't hurt and I got the belt on as well, so I'm pressing up against it to give me that locked in row, going lightweight again with the towel. That's kind of the point of today is we're going to make it work, okay, haven't really done too much back lately, it's more bent arms, which is fine. I need to keep every muscle working. So when we get into the rows, let's get after it. Not sure if this is the best idea. I know it sounds really bad, but the best test of my strength is usually the bench press. It's not my best exercise, but I feel like that's gonna keep me as strong as possible. I was really climbing up about two months ago, but since the neck and you know shoulders and stuff just wasn't going well. But we're gonna see where I'm at, kind of. I'm gonna go for 135, so pretty light, just plates, and then I would like to get at least eight reps I'm not gonna go to a failure, but I'm gonna go to a few reps short of failure. Like I said, eight would be a good number for today. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna be honest, I felt hard as hell. I'm not gonna lie, I expected that to go a little bit more smooth. But honestly, it's probably been two months since I've hit the bench press. Oh man, I could have probably got two more reps if I kept on going slow, but you saw I had to pause at the top just to regain some strength. And of course, right now, this is what I do in between so many sets. But you know what? I'll do whatever I have to do to get through the workout. So, we'll keep going. Like I said, that was my other set of banks, even though I would love to do it again. Only positive I can take away from that is when I usually do the bench press, I do it first. Right away, boom, first set. I already did, did four sets of dumbbells, just 50 pounds, but four sets of 15, so there's some good volume. And again, not having done chest in a while, but I did that first. And then I hit up uh, four sets on the rows. Not too bad. So I guess the bench press would be my third exercise and you know hitting up 135 right away isn't too bad, especially for like about a month and a half, two months of not hitting the bench. So I'll take it. Still not the happiest with it. But again, I have to know, keep in my mind, that I'm coming back from injuries and to build back up sort of slowly, but I wanted to get hitting it hard as soon as possible. Next two exercises. All right, we're gonna hit up some curls, and then we're gonna superset with some cable pull downs. We'll do about only three sets of this, just because I've been hitting arms quite frequently. So I'm gonna take a little rest and just do three sets, lightweight, because then a couple of days I'll hit it hard again. So let's get into the curls.
What you can kind of see, hopefully, is that I'm keeping my head as neutral as possible, staring straight ahead, not using any of my neck, I'm trying to keep it still. Also, obviously, that's why the towel is there, but you know, you can still get some movement in. I'm trying to keep it as steady and still as possible, lock on one place, boom, keep it as still, just to reduce that movement and that strain. What I want to do though, that's my first set, I'm going to try to do two more. I'm going to do one more with the towel. And my last set, I want to try to take off the towel and see how that feels normally. And hopefully I can be protected. Let's see how this goes. Workout is now done, except what I have to do first before I you know, head back up and get a shake is I have to roll out. I'm gonna roll out my neck and my back. I do it before and after every workout, and as you see, I use the ball, the trigger point ball, between sets. Yeah, same with the foam roll, I use it between sets. If I feel something seizing up or cramping up, or I feel a little bit of pain, I gotta work it out. Didn't feel bad without the towel, which is good. However, I did notice though, when I was watching the video playback, I moved my neck a little bit during the curls. Not the best thing. I'm not sure on the tricep, I haven't watched that playback, but you know, I just gotta be careful with that. And the neck will probably be necessary for the next few. I'll talk to you in just a few minutes. All right, if you stay to the end of the video, I really appreciate it but you need to be on the lookout for the next video. I'm always looking for something to be a pain reliever. I'm trying to you know, manage it as the best I can. I'm trying to test out every single way. I've, you know how I am with supplements and whether it's warming up with the heating pack, rolling out, stretching out, warming up for a half hour, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, my stims, all that. I found another idea. I'll share with you how it is working. For the next video, I'm gonna show you what it is, and then I'll give you a three month review. Be on the lookout for the next video. Please like and subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video.